Hey guys, Tank here again. Just got a uh, knife in the mail with my uh, Warren Thomas credit card knife uh, yesterday. And this thing is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's an amazing knife. I almost would never trust another knife aside from it. This is the, um, the Dalibor Regulus. It has a four and a half inch long handle, both titanium slabs. Um, they are, I believe, 0 0.190 inches thick. Uh, he does all his pocket clips custom by hand. Um, the orange peel finish on it. Uh, the hardware, uh, thumb stud, standoffs are all titanium. The pivot is, I believe, 440 stainless steel and heat treated. And then it's got a 4 inch acid wash uh, 3V blade. There's the Dalibor logo on the blade right there. My lighting keeps going on and off because of how reflective this uh, titanium is. It's uh, pretty ridiculous. But uh, just to kind of compare the two here, lengthwise, uh, there's the difference. It's got quite a bit more blade, about half inch worth more blade, and geez, looks like a almost an inch more a handle, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is absolutely beast. The um, blade thickness on it is actually uh, 0 0.220 thick. There's the thickness differences, which almost doesn't even look like that much of a difference, just because this Warren Thomas is the uh, prototype, so it's got a thicker blade than most Warren Thomases. But, uh, yeah, this thing is absolute beast, absolute tank. Um, the blade is absolutely razor sharp, uh, especially for how thick of a blade this is. Like, it's, it's ridiculously sharp. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I was doing some light cutting, and literally just the weight of the blade cut through uh, some plastic, so it was pretty nice. Uh, major jimping here, almost a little, almost a little rough, but you know what? For me, I find it pretty comfortable and definitely useful. Uh, I mean, rock solid lockup, super early. No blade play whatsoever. I don't imagine this thing will ever get blade play. The uh, thumb studs act as the blade stop in the open position. And then this standoff is the uh, one that meets the uh, choil here. Uh, it's, got, it's got a generous choil, I'd say. You know, nice choking up on it. Um, yeah, I mean... You could even use this side in a, you know, if you needed to. <laughs> uh, the lockup is pretty, uh, <clears throat> pretty stiff sometimes. Um, just if you squeeze down on it a little bit, it's 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 locked in there. It ain't coming off. Um, blade is not exactly completely centered, as you can see. Um, that's because of this, the. Uh, <clears throat> lock bar is actually pushing on the blade. You can actually push the blade over, as you can see here. I mean, it doesn't bother me because it's it's such a thick knife that you know when it's open, it's rock solid. It's not <clears throat> not going to mess up on you. Um, so this this centering is not a problem. Uh, but like in the closed position, I mean, you can even use this as basically a weapon with how pointed that uh, edge comes to. 
But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> oh yeah, and it's it's pretty buttery smooth for how big it is. I think it's like weighs in about around 10 ounces. But I mean, you can flick it all the way open. No, no problem really. Like, you know, no wrist action. Just it'll flip. Um, so this is gonna be my new in my pocket everyday knife. Mmm, sexy. See you guys later.